I'll start by saying my name, I'm William Gruller, and I'm here to talk to you about uh, organ donation and you know, why it's important and why we should all be organ donors. Um, so, uh, most of you don't know, but 90% of Americans actually support uh, the organ donation idea, but only 30% actually know how to go about becoming an organ donor or really the essential steps. Uh, and this is uh, from <coughs> Donate Life America. <laughs> All right, so a little bit of a preview. Um, we're going to talk about the needs for donors, uh, specifically, you know, how much is in need, uh, how to become a donor, and really uh, why everyone benefits and how everyone benefits. Uh, has anybody seen the movie uh, Seven Pounds with Will Smith in it? Yes, a few of you. Well, I don't mean to spoil the surprise if some of you haven't seen it, but it's a really powerful movie. It's about organ donation. Uh, basically, I'll just go over it real quick. Uh, he gets into an accident. He kills, he kills people in the accident. So he feels really bad about it. And really, how he decides to reform his life is by donating to other people. Basically, he goes through uh, this whole rigorous process where he finds who's worthy of actually get accepting one of his organs. And then at the end, he has one of his friends after he commits suicide. Uh, you know, call. Um, not called, but uh, to have his organs donated to those specific people that he mentioned uh, that deserve his organs. And that was his way of giving back. Uh, and I thought that was really powerful. If you could watch it, if you haven't seen it, you really should. Right. So really, it's a pretty steep challenge that uh, we have before us. We have 100, over 110,000 people in the US that are currently waiting for an organ. Uh, that's really a lot. In 11 minutes, someone is added to the list. So during this class period, 16 people have been added to the list. Uh, and every day, 19 people will die due to a shortage of organs. And that's organdonor.gov. It's a really widening gap, as you can see here. If I was Al Gore, I would have a nice chair lift here that could help me point to this number up here. That, as you can see, is 105,000 people waiting with only 14,000 uh, actual donors, and that's around 2008, 2009. And as you can see, the gap was a lot smaller back in the day. But now, you have a lot more people waiting and less people actually donating. So a little facts about New Jersey, as this <coughs> might hit home more. Um, there's over 4,000 people waiting on New Jersey's list. Uh, in 2009, over uh, well, 184 New Jersey residents donated their organs. Those 184 people saved 616 lives as a result. And still, over 200 New Jersey residents died in 2009 uh, due to the black organs. Um, and actually, I'll go to my wiki here and show you real quick. Um, as you see on my wiki, I have a later, but right here is a map of New Jersey, and it actually brings you to each county, and it says how much the percentage, as you can see Mercer, it tells you each uh, percentage of the age-wise and how many people are actually uh, designated donors in the county, and that's something you can look at later at your choice, or at your leisure. Um, so. Okay, so some people have a little bit of worries about uh, actual organ donation. And some is, can I have an open casket? Yes, you can have an open casket. Uh, they treat your body just like they would any other surgery or any performance that uh, doctors do on you. So that's something that people are just nervous about. Like, you know, if I have, if I don't have my organs, am I still gonna have to be able, my parents gonna have an open casket? Yes, you can. Uh, it's actually no cost to the donor or their family. There's absolutely nothing. It's not gonna cost you anything. And again, back to the wiki. Uh, I'll show you real quick uh, an organ donor myth. Rather than me telling it to you, I'll have this thing to explain it. And the doctors and paramedics in the hospital knew I was an organ donor, but they wouldn't try as hard to save my life. Is that true? That is a very common misconception. And it's probably the one that's most emotionally based because you're concerned about what's going to happen to you if you are a patient and you've made that decision to donate. But it is truly a misconception. There is a very clear separation of responsibility 
the people that take care of you in the emergency room are there to take care of you. They're not there to recover organs. That's a completely different group of people. And we, as that group of people, are only called in once everything that can be done has been done to save your life. So, as you can see there, uh, the misconception is that, you know, the doctors, actually, when I was talking about this with my friend, he said to me, well, aren't the doctors going to try less to save my life knowing that I'm an organ donor? And that's a complete misconception because that doctor has nothing to do with knowing you're an organ donor until after you're pronounced dead. And that's something that a whole different group of people deal with, and they're called in after the fact. So, uh, really, it's it saves lives, the fact that you're, all you're doing is really signing up and saying, hey, after I cease to exist, you know, you can use my organs or my tissue to save somebody else's life. Uh, as many, in May 2009, as many, uh, as, the, uh, as of May 2009, this is the percentage of living five years after the transplant. So a kidney, you have almost 70%, heart, 70, almost 75%, liver, 74%, and lungs almost up are 55 percent. That's all transplanting. As you can see, it's very happy that you're still living. All right. So, how do you become a donor? There's uh, different things you can do uh, to secure uh, the fact that you're gonna your organs will be donated after the fact. Um, one is really easy and simple. It's register online, and I have a link on my wiki to register online. Um, and really, it takes like. It's a couple minutes. I mean, I did it. It's really not hard. Um, the DMV, which is now called the MVC, which actually kind of confused me, but you can get that on your license. Uh, and that's just another way to speed up the process. It's not necessary uh, because if you have registered to be a donor, you can still donate your organs. But that's really just a way to make sure that if you know you need your organs sent out immediately, that this is something that will happen like as soon as they see the fact that you are a donor. Uh, and that's something you can do when you renew your license. You don't have to go out of your way and go do it tomorrow, which because I hate going to the DMV or NBC now. So, um, Also, you can carry a donor card, which is like that picture right there. Uh, and really, that just also is the same thing as the license. It tells you what you want to donate or what you would want to donate in the case of the event of your death. Um, and really, you should inform your family of your decision because that might be something that will slow down the process if your parents or other family members did not know that you wanted to be donated, that they might actually hesitate and, and try to stop the process from happening because of the event of grief and, and such. Uh, so how does everybody benefit? Well, just one, one person being a donor can save up to eight lives and enhance many more. Some sites uh, specifically say 50 to 60 people will benefit from uh, the fact of you being a donor. Um, and really, you're, you're the donor's family benefits as well as the recipient. Uh, and just to explain that a little further, I mean, like let's say in a situation where one of your family members unfortunately passed away, um, and really how would you feel if maybe you got to meet the family whose little kid was saved because you, you, they donated uh, an organ to them? And you really got to meet the person that, that's still living because uh, your your family member decided to become an organ donor, and that's that's something that unfortunately, you know, if that was to happen, you know, that would make probably make me feel a little better that I was able or to help they were able to save somebody else's life in the event of something such as unfortunate as death. Um, so really, doing something is the most important thing because most people will say, oh yeah, I, I support donation and. Yeah, great, you support it, but if you don't actually register or you don't tell somebody that that's what you, your wishes are, it really uh, it will have no effect, and that's really why there's such a widening gap. Uh, most people don't actually act, uh, like I said, and if nobody knows your wishes, then you know how are you going to uh, take any part in, in this? this so, um, I'm sorry. Um, in New Jersey, actually, uh, you do not have to have your family's consent so if you did register, um, then that's something that you need to think about. Like, I mean, but you should really tell your family. But it's just something that if you did register, it, your family can't stop you from becoming a donor. Um, so sign up today. It's really easy. It's on my wiki. It's where the links were, everything else, and, and that's where you can find all your information. Um, so really, like my point of view is, if uh, after my death, uh, 
I'm not going to be using my organs anymore, so why not give somebody else a life?